Welcome back to the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. So this week's word of the week for week number 10 is going to be vitamin K. Now vitamin K is important because it helps wounds heal and the different foods that are rich in vitamin K are going to be the following. Okay, lettuce, parsley, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, meats, eggs, and cereal. So make sure you guys get ready for your fast five workout as well as your activity for the day. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so for fast five workout number 10, the following exercises will be included. Number one, stationary skips. Two, walking lunges. Three, figure eights. And four, jumping jacks. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll demonstrate those uh, movements in just a moment. All right, so for exercise number one, as I mentioned, it's gonna be stationary skips. So what you're gonna do, if you don't know how to skip, it's just simple, it's a hop and a pop. So you're gonna hop in place and pop your knee up. Okay, so we're gonna do stationary skips. If you want, see how I am alternating my hands and my feet. So if my left hand goes up, my right foot comes up, and then I'm gonna switch. So think about that, just hop and pop at the same time, okay? Second, we're gonna do walking lunges. So I'm gonna go and start on my right side, your left, I believe. And I'm gonna go lunge, that's one, two. Notice that my body is moving across. I'm gonna turn around, go three, and then go back. Okay, alternating my legs. So that's walking lunges. The next one, we're gonna do figure eight. So we're gonna go on to our bottoms. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your legs up about six inches off the ground. And you are gonna do an eight with your feet. So it looks like this. So you're gonna draw an invisible eight using your legs. All right, and our last and final exercise is going to be jumping jacks. Now, if you don't know how to do a jumping jack, if your feet are together and your hands are at your side, when your legs are out, your hands are up, you guys can clap, okay? You guys can make a heart, or you guys can just go straight up like this and then almost touch, okay? So rainbow, clap, our heart, completely up to you. So here we go. Again, legs go out, hands come up. I'll do heart, I'm back in. Legs go out, hands come up. I'll make a rainbow. And the last one, I'll do a clap. And back in, okay? Again, legs are together, your hands are at your side, okay? Remember that. So get ready for our fast five workout number 10, and we'll get started in just a moment. All right, so here we go. We're again, we're gonna start with those stationary skips in place. Here we go, starting in three, two, one, and go, stationary skips. Again, a hop and a pop. Remember to alternate your hands. If your right leg goes up, your left hand comes up. Left leg goes up, your right hand comes up. It's gonna help you get that rhythm. All right, let's go to go to those walking lunges. Go one, two, three, and turn around. One, two, three. Again, you almost want to touch the floor, but you don't want to bang your knee on the floor. Great job. Keep up the good work. Awesome job. Keep it up. Remember, I say, just finished. All right, let's go down. Grab those figure eights. Starting in three, two, one, go. Get your legs up. Make that circle, two circles. Down, up, and around. Last but not least, 
Jumping jacks, ready, and go. So you have your breathing. Challenge yourself, see how many you can do. And then, round two, we're gonna do more. Look at that heart pump. All right, one minute rest. Hope you guys enjoyed this Fast Five workout. If you have not checked out Fast Five one through nine, highly recommend you do that. You're gonna have so many workouts that you can do with your friends and family at the end of the year. Round two coming up. Yeah, we're gonna start with those stationary skips. If you guys are enjoying the t-shirt, it's brand new. Uh, you guys can check out my Teespring site as well as my Red Level site. And you guys can purchase your home Teespring spot here, our merch, okay? So, all proceeds go directly to uh, anything that we might need for uh, the workouts as well as the activities, all right? So here we go. Starting in three. Three, two, one. Go, round two, let's go. That's a hop and a pop. You wanna chop yourself, roll on your toes. Don't let your back foot, your heel hit the floor. On your toes the whole time. Hop and a hop, a pop and a hop, let's go. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know in the comment section what was your favorite exercise of the day and what was your most challenging exercise in the day and what exercises you would like to do on a Fast Five workout. So again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, at the PE spot, the fun never stops. Until next time, take care. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. So today's fun activity is called Ole, Ole, Ole. So make sure you guys stay tuned and don't go anywhere.
All right, so for this uh, do-it-yourself home activity, uh, you're gonna need a few household items. You're gonna need at least one laundry basket, at least one balloon, and some tape, that's an option. Uh, you could use anything as a sneaker or something as a marker. Uh, those are the only items you're gonna need for this activity, so make sure you stay tuned and don't go anywhere, because we're gonna play Ole, Ole, Ole. Okay, so the only body parts that you can use for this activity are gonna be your legs and your head, okay? So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to step behind the line, I'm gonna have a one minute challenge, I'm gonna have to pop this ball up, balloon, and I have to juggle it as best as I can and make it in the basket. Now, if the balloon hits the floor before I even make it to the basket, I gotta start right back over, okay? So you gotta use only your legs and your head to make it into the basket. Every time you make it inside the basket, you're gonna get two points towards your team. Okay, so stay tuned, I'll demonstrate this in just a moment. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do the one minute challenge. Again, using only my legs and my head to make it in the basket. Starting in three, two, one, go. Oh, Barcelona. We are huge fans of Lionel Messi. 
That is uh, Jordan's soccer idol. Oh, 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 two points. And side. So far, in round one and two, Jordan has a total of two points. I scored two points in my second round, so we're tied up. We're gonna go to a third round right now. This time, to make it a little more challenging, we're gonna use our non-dominant foot. I'm right foot is my dominant foot, so I'm only gonna be able to use my left foot and my head. Those are the only legs I can, or the only body parts I can use for this third round, okay? Stay tuned. After three rounds, Jordan and I still are tied. So we're gonna go one more round, round number four. This time, we're only using headers. We are only gonna be able to use our cabezas. All right, so stay tuned. All right, round four. Three, two, one, go.
Well, we really hope you enjoyed that game of Ole, Ole, Ole. Please make sure you guys drop down in the comment below. Let us know who is your favorite soccer club or team. We'd like to know because we'd like to respond. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that game. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, at the P-Spot, the fun never stops. Until next time, take care.